Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for being here. Uh, the last few weeks, I've been demanding some answers on Jeffrey Epstein's crimes and trying to get these flight records. I've offered amendments to a subpoena, trying to get that, and kind of been stonewalled on it. But I think having transparency around Jeffrey Epstein's conduct and this massive sex trafficking ring that he built is important. And of course, you've had the chairman, Senator Hirano, Senator Ossoff, all who have mentioned our concerns with what is happening with CSAM, what is happening with sex trafficking. But in light of this, I, in looking at some of the survivors from the Epstein issues, uh, there are disturbing allegations that the FBI failed to investigate the sex trafficking allegations. And indeed, one survivor says that the FBI, even after she brought forward repeatedly content about his conduct, that the FBI refused to investigate her claims, even though she said the allegations were there on both the sex trafficking and the child sexual abuse material. And I want to know why or what, you, what awareness you have of the FBI's failure to investigate these claims. And I want to get you on the record, since numerous survivors have said the FBI did not show up to help them, uh, what specifically has the FBI done to investigate the claims that Epstein's and others participated in, produced, possessed, and distributed CSAM? Well, first let me say I uh, recall uh, very well that you have a, a very specific and longstanding interest uh, not just in child sexual exploitation but in human trafficking uh, as, a, as a cousin of that. Uh, and we appreciate your focus on it and your support uh, of the importance of that part of our mission. As to the Epstein case specifically, I will tell you it's been a while since I looked at that case. Obviously, we worked together with prosecutors to bring charges yeah. before he... Um, I realize yeah. that. Yeah. But what we need from you is a complete investigation of why the FBI did not take this up and then getting to the bottom of what is appearing to be an enormous sex trafficking ring and listening to these survivors. You know, and as I said, I've tried to get the, uh, a subpoena on the flight logs, which I think is important to this. I, I think people need to know who, were on, who was on those planes and how often they were on those planes. I think people who invest in companies would want to know if there are people from their C-suite. And as we go through this, should those logs be made public? They've been heavily redacted. Well, as I said, it's been a while since I looked at the specific case. Uh, I can tell you that we've been increasing year over year both the number of agents focused on these kinds of cases, the number of well, victims we we've rescued. And, then, yes. and, I'm, and so on to the specific case, uh, let me uh, offer to have my, get, let me get with my team and figure out if there's more information we can provide to That you. would be great. Yeah. We have never, even through the Jelaine Maxwell trial, we never got to the bottom of this. And we have these survivors who say, oh, there is so much more. Hmm. They swept it under the rug and that is wrong and you need to right that wrong. Let me ask you about some of the disturbing allegations that have come out of special counsel Jack Smith's political crusade against President Trump. And we've seen a heavily redacted search warrant. Here you go with the first page. Here you've got a page that's in print, another in print, another in print, attachment B, in print, all about the subject account, page three that I'm going to come back to in a minute, and then look at the rest. Redactions, redactions, redacted, fully redacted, fully redacted, fully redacted, there and there. So that's very helpful 
when things are so heavily redacted you can't get to the information. Now, Tennesseans are very concerned about two tiers of justice and weaponizing of the government. But what we see from this search warrant, and here it is on page, let me go to page two first. That gives you what they're getting from the subject account, which is Trump's account. You're going to see that on page one and page two, and the information that is there. They're wanting to get at his Twitter account, everybody that had access to it and all the information. Well, then when you go to page three, they are going to subpoena all data and information that is associated with this, and anybody that reposted information on this that favorited or retweeted post by the account, as well as all tweets that include the username associated, all synced, all contacts, and this covers October 2020 to January 2021. Are you aware of this? I've seen some of the media reporting about it, but obviously this is a matter you that's being led this? by this. Well, again, this is a, an ongoing investigation being led by a special counsel, and there are uh, all kinds of court restrictions that apply. Somebody approved a search warrant for everybody that was retweeting or reposting from the Ayatollah's account? Have they gone to his account prior to October 7th and looked at that? This is such an invasion of free speech. And as we talk with you about social media and what is going on with social media, we're concerned about this. You know, if I liked a tweet from President Trump, if anybody on this side of the dais retweeted a tweet from President Trump, according to this, Jack Smith could go pull everything affiliated with our Twitter account. If anything that came from that real Donald Trump showed up in our feed, do you think that this is an infringement of my free speech? Well, let me say this: I certainly understand the concern, but I, what I would I tell would you, hope is, so. but what I would tell you is that uh, this investigation being led by the special counsel is not appropriate for me to comment on that ongoing investigation. It's also under the supervision of a court, which. Includes the, includes the search warrant. Yes. is code word for we are stonewalling. It, and we hear this from you all repeatedly, and it's really quite frustrating. No, ma'am, and I understand why it's frustrating, uh, but that policy about not commenting on ongoing investigations is one that goes back decades. Uh, Republican and Democratic administrations, it's yeah, not something that's just invented. These investigations are not coming to completion. Thank you, Mr. Senator. Uh, Blackburn, before you leave, I want to make a point for the record, since I understand you made some statements about the Jeffrey Epstein flight logs. There's a Fox reporter in the hallway who asked me about this, and I said I had not spoken to you one time about this issue. I think you'll back me up on that. I'm not, not mistaken. I didn't know that this was even a subject of your amendments, which, if you recall, you were the first on the list until the two-hour rule was invoked. Uh, I don't know anything about this request on your part. I'll be happy to discuss it with you. But I haven't done any discussion with you to this point, correct? Mr. Chairman, I know, and I think you're fully aware that I had two amendments, I one wasn't. dealing with Epstein and Sotomayor. I brought it up previously. But we have such an issue in this nation with the sex traffic and human trafficking rings that have proliferated across this country, and it is damaging the lives of women and girls. We have got to step up and help them. Getting to the bottom of what happened with this Jeffrey Epstein case is going to be an important thing to do. And it should be at the top of this committee's to-do list as we fight some of this proliferation of CSAM. There were 122 amendments, I believe, filed. I did not know that you would have- 177. 177 amendments filed. So uh, I have to confess, I didn't know that you'd offer that amendment. Happy to discuss it with you, but I want to point on the record. You and I have never personally discussed this, have we? 
We talked briefly on the floor at the conclusion. You never conclusion. mentioned what the subject matter of your amendment was. You said you wanted to offer In your committee, amendment. I brought up my the subject matter of my amendments. Not my Three presence. weeks prior. Yes, sir. Oh. It was, I'll, I'll pull the transcript for you. I wish you Thank would. Thank you. I wish you would. 